okay, yeah, sure, original games and predecessors and all that are really cool and all, but sequels are where it's at. Improving problems and improving other things that aren't really problems and still making them better. That leads us into Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, or Gateway to Glimmer if you're in Europe or the UK. Why, why, why do you guys change the names of games? Why? Why? Why are there regional differences? A anyway, this game improved a lot of flaws that the original game had. And the original game didn't even have that many flaws. So it's a good sign when your original game didn't have that many flaws, but you still fix a lot in your sequel. brief with you with the story so basically sparks and spyro want to go on vacation because it's raining in uh the dragon world but then they suddenly stumble upon this other world called avalar and it's being dictated by this new villain named ripto and since ripto hates dragons they brought spyro here on purpose so that he could actually stop ripto Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there are brand new characters now, like of course Ripto, there's Alora the Fawn, there's Hunter the Cheetah, there's Professor the Mole, and there's Moneybags the Bear. Oh yeah, and there are NPCs now, so that you don't really feel alone on your adventure. Now, gameplay-wise, Sparrow still controls the same, except for the fact that they added some new moves, like there's this Flutter Jump, and then the rest you learn throughout your adventure. Oh yeah, and there is way more variety in this game over the first game, like, there are intro and outro cutscenes to levels now. It kinda shows how the NPCs live their everyday lives, it's kinda cool. There are also these missions that you can do, which some of them are actually pretty fun, but most of them are just really, really frustrating and had me tearing my hair out. Oh yeah, and you do these missions to get orbs, your main collectible, and talismans, which get you out of the level. Now, luckily, you don't have to do all these missions, but don't get too picky and just go through the levels without doing any, because at the end of the game, you'll have to do all of them if you haven't done really many missions, because you need 40 orbs to fight the last boss. Speaking of bosses, this game actually has pretty good boss fights now. It's a shame there's only three boss fights now, but and what can you do? Actually, the only reason that there are only three bosses is because there are only three hub worlds. All the hub worlds are based off of different seasons, like there's Summer Forest, Autumn Plains, and Winter Tundra. There's not a hub world based on Spring, though, which... I know there are rumors that there was going to be one that was based off of Spring, but to tell you the truth, the developers were never going to put a Spring Hub world, so I know the rumors say that, but they're just rumors. Now, the music in this game was also composed by Stuart Copeland, which did the first game's music, and it still has that magical medieval feel to it. Oh yeah, and the voice of Spongebob and Spyro both have the same voice actor, Tom Kenny. Oh, so that explains why the Electrols and Hurricos sound just like Spongebob. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you can find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. Like, that is literally just Spongebob's voice. So, is Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage good? Yes, it is really good. It is, like, probably one of the best platforming sequels ever. Sure, it had me tearing my hair out at most of the missions, but other than that, I really like this game and recommend it.